Do you feel that you constantly need to glow up? Nothing is working and you feel bad about yourself? Don't worry, I'm here as your big sis to help you out. It's time to lock in, baby. Let's go. This is so cliche because everyone's always just like, be confident, <laughs> you're beautiful. Like, it's fine. Okay, uh, th that doesn't really help. Your mental glow up manifests itself physically, okay? I know you clicked on this video, you're like, oh my gosh, 20 steps to glow up? Yeah, sign me up, this is gonna be so easy. No. Oh, we're going through this whole thing so that this lasts us for years and years and years for the rest of our lives. Okay, so I used to think that my big lips were so ugly because I was told that growing up all of my life. And then once like big lips were like so hot and cool, like people want my lips now and it's just so weird, like having to rewire your brain like that like okay now now it's okay so taking that as an example of okay today i am looking good because i feel glowed up and pretty because my lips are big and that's in trend what is tomorrow babe that's not in trend am i going to tie that whole thing to my self-confidence many years ago i definitely would when you put these things on a pedestal and you tie everything about you to beauty trends all of that stuff and like all your confidence is based on that it's just very ugh, like it just it just goes up and down because you don't have like your own like you don't trust yourself enough to have your own self-confidence try out different exercises until you find one that you're actually excited about in the past i used to force myself to do these like awful exercises i would restrict myself when i was eating just because i felt like i i don't know i feel like it was a form of just self-hatred like manifesting itself because i thought i deserved it i was so insecure and i would grind for like two weeks i was like yeah i can do this exercising for an hour a day when i literally just hated every single second of it so then i would kind of fall off for a few weeks and then it would just make me feel like wow like i'm not disciplined like I can't do this like I'm just such an awful human being why is it so easy for other people to go to the gym every day we gotta make it clear that there is a difference between challenging yourself versus forcing yourself exercising is not just about your physical appearance it really helps like your mental and your brain as well just because you're releasing so many like endorphins they're like having a little party in your head they're like oh my god I'm having so much fun right now there is a sense of accomplishment afterwards like it really helps your soul one example will be Pilates I know that that's super trendy and cool right now um I'm I'm literally going to my first Pilates class tomorrow and I'm actually terrified. I used to do hot yoga every single day and the way that it made it super sustainable for me is that I went with my mom. So that was a really nice bonding experience and that didn't really make me feel like I was working out. I used to be a competitive dancer so I would dance for like four hours a day and I never felt like I was exercising or anything because I was just having so much fun doing it. Honestly, me now, my favorite exercise is as I'm watching a TV over there, I'll just do like arm circles or like arm exercises. Even when you feel like you want to rot in bed, you can still do exercises in there too you have to make this process easy and you actually enjoy it for it to stick as a habit and not just be this yo-yo effect you will see results because you're being consistent i did a whole ass video on my feminine hygiene routine but i think the biggest one that i want to take away from that is oral hygiene i mean we're already very beautiful on the outside and then once you want to talk to someone and your breath staying um i i don't think we want that we don't love that you know <laughs> brushing twice a day is obvious and we cannot forget get flossing and this is the one that i use you want to do this daily before you brush a ton of food and icky stuff gets in between your teeth that cannot be like taken out when you're brushing so just taking that extra step is really important for your gum health and your teeth health afterwards do mouthwash i know thera breath is really good and i also use crest a huge thing that people don't do enough and they don't talk about is tongue scraping all of that nasty stuff that like makes your breath stink and just all of that is on your tongue because your tongue could hold a lot of bacteria so i have this scraper right here and i have been scraping my tongue for years and years and i always thought that was so weird because my parents always taught me to do it but like whenever i would sleep over my friend's house like they never did it so i thought i was weird no you need to do this baby about once a month or so i will also use whitening strips for my teeth i feel like it just helps like your smile shine brighter you want that little sparkle when you smile okay your internal health Girl, it is so important. And that's why everyone is using Ritual. It's a brand that does the work for me. So I have peace of mind of what's going on in my body. I have two here. Look at how pretty they are. Okay, but for this Essential for Women 18 Plus, it's a clinically backed, clean, and high quality multivitamin. Ritual is made traceable. So I know exactly where the ingredients came from and why they're there. In a university-led clinical study on this, they saw increases in vitamin D levels and omega-3 DHA levels in 12 weeks. This one is the Symbiotic Plus and it has a prebiotic, 
probiotic and postbiotic. It's a three-in-one product, baby. It supports a balanced gut microbiome and digestive health. I feel less bloated while taking it, and it definitely uh, keeps me regular. <laughs> Things like poor diet and stress can really throw my gut off, so that's why it's really important for me to take a supplement like Symbiotic Plus daily. They have like a mint essence on it, and it actually tastes really yummy. <laughs> Ritual is subscription-based, so I never run out. For 25% off your first order, you can scan this code right here or click the link in my description. Thank you so much, Ritual, for sponsoring a portion of this video. We need to drill into our heads that another person's beauty does not diminish your own. Flowers and sunsets are completely different and they're both beautiful, right? Beauty is not a finite resource. There's plenty for everyone, babe. It is not like a cake. It's not like a pie where everyone can just take like a little bit and like someone if someone takes a big chunk Then you know what I mean? Like no, I hate to admit it But I did not grow up with this really positive mindset I mean, I think we always grew up with girls always pitting ourselves against each other Everything felt like a competition and when I would gossip to my friends or when I would just think these really mean thoughts in my head It all stemmed from a place of self-hatred and insecurity And I thought the only way that I could feel better about myself is putting other people down not good, babe and when you're hating on other people that makes you ugly it's just the truth when it comes to things like plastic surgery because y'all know uh, i did not grow these myself i paid for these yeah <laughs> i really think when you're going into it with a mindset that this is truly you this is truly what you want um you don't owe anyone an explanation you don't owe anyone shit because think about it who are they to tell you what makes you happy do they live in your little brain? Are they like a little worm in there? No. There was a time in my life where I wanted to get this boob job because I thought that boobs would make boys like me. You know, I yearn for validation because it wasn't coming from my own heart. That mindset is super toxic because it's very if then. If I had boobs, then boys would like me. Therefore, I am validated and I am worthy as a human being. A few years went by and as my self-confidence grew in myself, um, my boobies did it, <laughs> but as my self-confidence did. <laughs> when I didn't crave validation from others, I truly loved the person that I was on the inside. I ended up getting the surgery because guess what? <laughs> I just like boobs. And, and I wanted them. I really can't help but think that if I did go through with it with that mindset, like, okay, well, once I get boobs, boys will like me. If like I didn't get that validation that I was expecting in my brain, like I probably would have regretted this. And um, yeah, that's not good. Do a hair mask. I actually use a hair mask in place of a conditioner every single time I wash my hair. Honestly, I feel like my hair has grown pretty long. And I wanna contribute that to this hair mask or just a hair mask in general because it makes my hair super soft. Even though I bleach my hair like every six weeks, it's still not dead. Like I think it's pretty healthy. I also highly recommend getting your hair trimmed regularly i do it every single time i get my hair done we cut like half an inch to an inch every single time and i know it sounds kind of counterintuitive especially when you want your hair to grow longer but if you just let your hair grow and there's like a lot of split ends and a lot of breakage it will break off and make your hair even shorter so when your hair is healthy and strong it has a really good base to grow longer find makeup that flatters you and not change you i talk about this so much but when you're accentuating your own features it's always gonna look good because it's your face. It honestly helps a lot with self-love because when I used to do makeup that changed my face completely, when I would wash my face at the end of the day and everything was off, I just didn't feel good about myself. I used to put like concealer around my lips to make them look smaller. I used to put on like eyelid tape or like try to draw my eyelids because I hated my monolids. And I was always told that these features were ugly. And I'm all saying that you can't have fun with makeup. Like I think it's a form of art and and it's so nice to explore that, but I think it comes from a different place of like, okay, you wanna be artistic and you wanna explore new things versus intentionally like changing your features with the goal of looking like a completely different person because you don't like love yourself kind of thing. I know this is kind of like a tricky subject, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. Cook for yourself and eat less takeout. Don't get me wrong. I love me some good takeout, okay? I love me some good fast food. But when I was in college, I gained the freshman 15 and I honestly didn't even know it. And I didn't know I actually like gained all that weight until I lost it once I had to move back to my home because of COVID and I was eating my mom's like home cooked meals again. All of that super greasy food made my face like really blow a lot. I was breaking out and I thought it was just because of all the stress of college. But takeout, right? You don't really know what in your food like you don't really know what's what they're cooking in the kitchen and those ingredients can really affect your mood also after you cook you know exactly what's in it right but you also have a sense of accomplishment because you're like yeah i did that 
yeah, I did that and I'm nourishing my body. We have been using a meal delivery service for like the past year or so. Not sponsored, but hello if you want to sponsor me, I'm here. It makes everything so much easier. We actually have like this notes app called Suki Bistro where we rate all of the things that we cooked. And I feel like that's just so fun. For nice, smooth, glowing skin, make sure that you're exfoliating like once a week. Don't do too much. You do not want to dry your face out, okay? Don't do too much. You just need to remove all of that like gunk, like all of that nasty that happens while you're sleeping or just living and being a human because that's just what we do. We have to excrete oils out of our pores. <laughs> Yummy. If doing that is a little too abrasive for you, you could also use toner pads like this. It has like a textured side to it, so it helps exfoliate it very gently. Doing this makes your makeup look less dry and it's not clean onto like the nasty or the dry spots everywhere. It makes everything more smooth. Simple skincare is the way to go if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Think about it. If you're putting on hella skincare, you're just packing shit on, but you don't really know what the ingredients do or how they mesh well together, you can actually be doing more harm for your skin. Obviously, I'm no dermatologist. I'm literally just a girl. But I did find that once I found the core products that actually worked for my skin, a very simple routine, then it was easier to find and like kind of introduce new products one at a time to see how it worked and if it improved my skin or just, I don't know, if I didn't need it. I hate to admit it, but sometimes when we're doing too much, it, we're doing too much, okay? Sometimes less is more. A physical glow up can only really get you so far because when I was doing all the things, you know, I was like finally fitting into like the beauty standard. I still felt like shit because I was tying all of my confidence and basically just all of my self-worth to my looks. We have to remember that our brain is a muscle and we have to constantly exercise it to expressing self-love because we are beautiful and we are that girl. This is gonna be kind of embarrassing, but growing up, I mean, there's all these movies and TV shows like really preached like the power of friendship. Like, oh my gosh, friends are so good like i love having friends like this is why like life is worth living <laughs> but i never really like saw like the whole reason for that like i'm like okay friends are cool but like okay retrospectively i know why i felt that way and honestly it's because i never really fit in with them all my life i put on this persona to not be weird because i wanted people to like me i don't think they were ever intentionally malicious or anything but like little comments like oh my gosh asian food is so gross and then i would just be there being like oh my god yeah like so gross like you guys like me now like i'm just i'm not like those other people right like you guys like me huh i trained my brain to suppress my actual feelings um just for the validation of others right and and I think in, like I exercised that muscle so much that really my own thoughts were not my own. And once I made true friends that actually accept me for who I am, and I think that you can't expect someone to know exactly who you are when you first meet them. So it is your job to, when you do meet someone new, to really truly be yourself because that's how you really get along and that's how you don't have to put on this persona or this mask. I can't tell you how freeing it is to be surrounded by people that actually truly care about you. It really manifests into your physical appearance as well because you know you're gonna have the courage to try out a new makeup look new hairstyle put on an outfit that you never worn before and you know those people are gonna support you adapt the mindset that nothing changes if nothing changes if you're feeling stagnant there's always steps to improve your life you just have to take them girl put on your running shoes your walking shoes like we're gonna go for example if you're feeling the effects of tiktok brain rot like you just feel super groggy all day but every single day the second you wake up you grab your phone and you scroll for an hour instead take the step to charge your phone on the other side of the room and when your alarm goes off you have to physically get up and turn that shit off turn on calming jazz music or something and get your day started you're feeling groggy because doom scrolling just gives you so many hits of dopamine you're like oh my gosh so much cool stuff in turn it makes your brain crave that all day you need that dopamine hit again and that's how we get distracted and are not productive in relationships too like if something's bothering you and you don't tell the other person about it how are they gonna know unfortunately they are not mind readers if you keep letting it slide one that person is gonna know that you can handle their disrespect and they're gonna keep doing that to you two it shows that you don't love yourself and you don't respect your own feelings once you stand your ground and set your boundaries it's only up to the other person to actually take that all in and the way that they respond reflects on them not on you change the music that you listen to a majority of the time listening to super sad music every single day will inherently make you feel just a little bit more sad i mean i know how great it is when you're 
sad and you find a song that's like totally in your feels and like you're allowed to feel that but when you're constantly putting yourself in that mindset just like keeps you there you can be sad which is very very important to processing your feelings but then switching that to a really happy positive song it truly affects your mood because sometimes when i'm really sad and i need to pick me up girl i'm putting on the craziest pop song and i'm having a solo dance party and that is something that i do all the time and i talk about like it's so fun to just like let loose and just have fun it helps a lot with being more confident with yourself because you're just allowing yourself to be weird and like that's totally okay <laughs> a huge thing that helped with my self-hatred is talking to myself like my younger self when you're having these negative thoughts just close your eyes picture yourself when you're two years old would you talk to her like that? This exercise kind of helps you put like yourself in a third person point of view just because you're just looking at this like really precious like person and how could you ever talk to them like that? Like they're so pure and beautiful and they're not gonna know all the answers to everything but you're gonna give leeway to them, right? You're not gonna bash them for that. Or when someone disrespects your friend or your loved one, you're ready to pull up. <laughs> you're ready to be like, who the fuck is talking to you like this? Like I'm gonna, no, like that's not okay. Like no one can treat you like like that are you thinking about that by yourself when someone disrespects you are you just gonna let it slide or are you gonna stand up for yourself and you're gonna set your boundaries and know your worth yeah do things when you're scared because there's never gonna be a right time i get comments all the time about like oh my gosh like i wish i could start a youtube channel but i need to get like the right camera first like i can't start yet girl where do you think i started with this i started making videos on my ipod touch and your phone that you have right now is such good quality you can start do you think i went into this thinking that i was going to be like super successful and then like no one would make fun of me no one would judge me no girl i was bullied to filth but the way that i like saw everything was that i have a goal in mind and i know i'm scared but i know i can get through it and look where I am, baby. I'm talking to you right now. And I wouldn't have gotten here if I didn't have the courage to do so and know that not everything is always gonna work out, but it doesn't hurt to try. Make it okay to laugh at yourself because at least you tried. You know, you, you know that you did your best and even if something didn't come out of it that you expected, there was a learning lesson about it and you can just like laugh about it and be like, wow, okay, well, it is what it is. Doing this thing is scary, but that's what life is all about. You have to challenge yourself and that's how you grow as a person. Keep promises to yourself, whether it is goal setting, habit tracking, making a to-do list every single day so your brain is not all jumbled up. Starting small, I make it a goal for myself to drink three of these a day. Drink your water, kids. Or if I know that I always wanna keep my room clean, I will put on a song on my phone, probably like three minutes, and I'll play it and I'll make it a game for myself. I will try to tidy my room as fast as possible and that just makes it way more fun. It makes it way easier for it to stick as a habit because I'm not forcing myself to do something. It's just a game. If you don't keep promises to yourself, then you are not able to fully trust yourself. This trickles down to every single aspect of your life because if you don't trust yourself, then you won't think that you're able to achieve big or even small goals practice being alone and not feeling lonely i'm working on this because honestly i am pretty codependent <laughs> yeah i'm scared to eat at a cafe alone i'm scared to go to parties alone but when you're not relying on others to give you that confidence there's no other place to pull it from but from yourself it's definitely a part of growing up and knowing who you are truly on the inside you have to constantly practice these skills because you can start getting comfortable and i think that what makes life super fun is all of these challenges and i know that this will really really help the mental glow up because you're really starting to trust yourself in the way that you react to things take time to process your emotions if something is happening in your life and you're like well like i'll just go to sleep and i'll feel better like it's fine it's fine the same things and feelings will continually cycle if you don't just sit your ass down and think about it you know journaling or even just picking up your phone and doing a voice memo and just ranting to yourself helps you articulate your feelings into words and it makes it feel less like oh like a jumbled mess up in your brain who would have thought yapping can make you feel better <laughs> oh this one's a big one but you need to retrain your brain to be able to fill your own cup first so you could overflow into others this sounds like a really weird metaphor i know but i'll explain it to you we always want to give and sometimes that leads to exhausting ourselves and putting ourselves last you can't pour from an empty cup 
Okay, this is not a cup. This is a vase and I just took out my fake flowers. So I'm gonna put them back in. <laughs> Ta-da! There's a difference between caring for someone versus sacrificing yourself and your well-being. Let's say someone in your life wants you to fill their cup before you can fill yours. They want you to take care of their needs and they don't really care that like they're keeping you from your cup. <laughs> This sounds so. And the worst thing is, is that their cup is full of holes and it's like never gonna be like filled all the way up because they don't have like that structure for themselves. So you pour your heart and soul, your hypothetical cup into theirs while yours is neglected. It's okay to take care of yourself first. You can allow people to take things from your overflow, but nothing from your own cup because we need to be strong and be confident in ourselves to be able to give to others. You can't ever please the impossible. And once you take care of yourself and you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, like I am that girl. Like I am so good to go right now. That energy overflows and trickles down to what you can give and provide for others. If you don't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love someone else? You can fill your own cup by doing things like keeping yourself and your environment clean, you know, learning something new, practicing self-love, listening to your like favorite music, journaling, doing some really like cute hobbies like scrapbooking all of that stuff doing things that actually give you joy without the end goal of it being productive doing things that you like just because they make you happy is worth it is is reason enough right i feel like i just rambled a lot hopefully that made sense <laughs> Follow specific people online. When my self-confidence was really low and I was just on my phone and constantly scrolling, comparing myself to these people that did not make me feel good or like the content that they were putting out was just like not positive and it just made me feel like shit. It made everything worse, especially since we're on our phones all the time. We need to surround ourselves with positive people like the same way that we would do in real life. People that make you learn something, people that make you feel confident in your body and the way that you look. Maybe people that are a little bit older than you because they can give advice and their own two cents. <laughs> Hey, hey, big sis, that's me. Next is set digital boundaries. Personally, I have a do not disturb on all day. Honestly, it's so nice to not be distracted while I'm trying to focus and just having all these notifications being like, ah, look at me, look at me. Like, no, I do not have time for you right now and you're kind of stressing me out. Realizing that there's so much real life to live that's just not on your phone is so freeing. Okay, so this next one is something that I used to be really scared of doing because I didn't want people to think that I was a mean girl because I would never want to be like that. There's is a block and mute button for a reason if someone is just like mm -mm, like i just do not want you on my page you're spending so much negativity you do not make me feel good like you need to protect your peace okay this is your page and you have like the right to do what you want with it like whenever i get a really hateful like cruel comment it used to really get to me and i would like constantly read it over but no now i'm like block block and it deletes the comment and i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> only hotties allowed, you know? And it's not even if someone is just like being inherently like mean to you, if you just like really don't like seeing their content, then you can mute them. Like you don't have to have their content show up on your feed if it makes you upset. We have free will, baby. <laughs> and with that, I thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that it helped you out a little bit. Like this was really fun to film. It's kind of like a girl talk, but like informational video all in one. So let me know if you liked it. I did kind of like this format for my feminine hygiene video and I thought that was really fun. So go check Check that out it's definitely more like a physical glow up kind of thing i have a whole glow up series on my channel so yeah uh i hope you have a beautiful day or night and i'll see you next time bye